My pick. Can I walk over? Come on over. All right. I own it. I've had it for almost two years now, and I absolutely love it. It comes to us from Sun Joe. So I've got, uh, you've seen my house. I have picture windows in the front of the house, and I have, I don't know what kind of uh, uh, bushes they are. I, I, they're beautiful flowering bushes, and they're constantly blocking my view. I gotta go out there probably every week, week and a half, and I gotta trim them. I used to try to do it with the shrubber, but I had to get the cord out to do that, and I'm always a little bit nervous with that until I found the pruner. I gotta tell you, this thing is unbelievable. You wanna talk about powerful? All you do is squeeze it, let it go. It goes through anything, and not just little stinky branches. This thing will go through heavy duty stuff. I mean, like butter, look at this. Are you seeing this? Watch. And I get cut after cut after cut of this. You think you love it now? You wanna know the best part? I can take the battery pack off the bottom, and it comes with a five foot pole. And then I put the handle on the bottom, and now I can do that same action six, seven feet over my head. So if I have branches, trims, or, or, or trees or shrubs that are hanging you know, over my car, I can get them with this as well. It is my pick of the show. It is the lowest price I have ever done it for at $99.95. It is a steal. It'll articulate to any position. If you got coconuts in your yard, God bless you. Uh, but whatever it is that you want to trim down, that's how you switch it out to a handheld. You're gonna love it. I rely on this. I probably I probably use this almost as much as my blower because I'm always out there trimming. It's great to uh, to, to uh, uh, you know to deadhead flowers too as well. Roses great for that as well. All right. Where am I going? Over here. Okay. Come on over with me. All right. So. Uh, we do a lot of these uh, great five and fives. Should I go right here, Rebecca? Or over there? I'll, I'll go right here. All right. What am I doing first? Okay, I'll go over here. All right. So this is our this is our Gardening with Guy five and five. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Took me long enough to get there. All right. So we're going to start you off with Larkin Meadow. This is our 13-inch tall mosaic bird feeder. Here's what I will tell you, folks. If you can afford this today at this discount, buy it. This is glass tile mosaic. Glass tile mosaic. It is a top loading feeder, which I love, okay? It comes with the wire cable, all right? It has a perch around the outside. It is the nicest bird feeder I carry, okay? Look at how gorgeous, if you think it's gorgeous now, wait till you see. Kyle, do we have the cardinal left or no? What do I have left? I can't hear you, Kyle. Say it again. Floral, all right. So the cardinal did sell out, but this is the floral. I wanna turn it so you can see the flowers on our little jib camera there. Look at the pretty flowers on there, okay? This is all done by hand, okay? There's no way to do mosaic unless you do it by hand. $24.95, hang it from a tree, hang it from a branch, you're good to go. Look at how pretty, and that gives you an idea of the size. All right, last call, 150 left. All right, this is our painted bird planter. You know, I was shocked at how well these did. Where's the cardinal? Give me the cardinal. I want the cardinal up here, because the cardinal's so pretty. All right, so there they are. Oh, I took him, his little feet came off. This is how you put them together. No, he's okay, he's supposed to. There. So that's, when you get him, you put him on the feet. How many left of each, Kyle? 65 cardinals. 28 bluebirds. Look at the little wings even kind of move in the wind. They're so beautiful. You put your plant in the top and you just put it out on the front porch. Uh, remember what they say about cardinals? When cardinals are near, angels appear. I, I'm convinced of that. I, my father loved cardinals and I'm telling you, whenever I, I've got two cardinals in my yard, I'm like, hey pops, what's going on? Is that your girlfriend? I'm like, eh. Anyway, uh, $29.95, 776283. All right, here's another item I've never gotten to present before. Uh, it's from XArt. It's our Solar Angel Heart Garden Steak. So basically, you take this out in the garden. It comes with a little steak. You pop the steak into the ground. You put your little angel on there. Look at them. Look how beautiful they are. All right? Uh, they come in white or black. Uh, it's a solid res angel. It's a rechargeable built-in solar battery. Come on. Really? Why haven't I seen these on our show before? How great would that be for holiday or any day? Right, just have a little angel out in your garden that lights up at night. If you want to get these, these are probably very limited as well. $17.99, 783, uh, 559. Oh, uh, which one's next? The, sh where's the shimmer lamp? Oh, look at the shimmer lamp. Do you mind if I make it shimmer? Okay, uh, shimmery, it's shimmering, it's shimmering. 
I'm a, you know what I am? I'm a, I'm a no good shimmerer. All right, so look, if you put it outside, right, because it's meant to, to be uh, outside, it's got a solar panel on top, it's gonna light up at night. It's beautiful. What's the price on this? I'm just considering my, one for myself. Put it outside on your patio. What a great little, look at the light lights up. Little half dome light. Just it, now, once you hit that switch, all right, it'll automatically turn on and turn off at a certain time. So if you want it indoors, uh, you know, you could charge it up. Obviously, it needs to get some sun because I, I believe this one is solar, isn't it? Is it solar? No, it's not. My bad. This is tr uh, AAA batteries. So you can use it indoors. Fantastic. $29.95 marked down from, what does that say, 65 bucks? Thanks, Rebecca. 743-361 is the item number there. And then... I can't believe we have these left. Do you remember how we, we, we used, I thought we sold these out. This is our little Coco um, welcome uh, planter. You gotta check this out. It's a little welcome sign. Look, it says welcome right there. I don't know if you can read it. And then it comes with a Coco liner so you can put herbs, uh, you can put whatever you want there. You can put ornaments in. That sold out already, that was quick. All right, so let's just, forget. there goes the five and five. Uh, thanks so much for joining me on that. Uh, I guess, should we get started with our show? Where am I going? Heidi Hood, come on over, come on over. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. You guys have to just bear with me because of the, uh, you know, I, I had a little bit of a chest thing and it's almost gone, but I gotta drink water. Hmm. All right, I feel better. Okay, so. Um, do you have anything that you're not really all that crazy about seeing, like something you're trying to hide? Maybe it's your recycle bins, or maybe it's your garbage cans, maybe it's your lawnmower. Well, that's why Heidi Hood was created. It's called the Heidi Hood 90. This is an outdoor wall-mounted storage system. All of you, I'm sure, got an outdoor wall, right? Maybe, uh, you know, in the side yard, and you're thinking, what a great place for the lawnmower. What a great place for my motorbike. My bicycles, right? What a great place for, you know, like I said earlier, garbage can. What it does is it mounts securely to any wall. It's easy to put up, takes about 10 minutes to put it up. And then you can stake it into the ground. So if you're traveling and you wanna hide something out there, you can do it. Every day of the week, this was $99.95. We dropped the price to $59.95. Uh, as I said, you can use this inside your garage or you can use it out in the backyard. The, uh, the um, actual dimensions are 67 inches in length by 98 in width by 67 inches high. It's 210 denier Oxford poly fabric is gonna last you years and years and years. You could even attach it to a fence and just put your lawnmower or your tools out there. On sale, 726-323 and Bobby Milliken is back to tell us, Bobby, uh, where has this been? I have so many things that I could put underneath here because I don't have a garage. I have a little shed and it's full. This is perfect. Yeah, that's the great point about this. This is so great for so many people. I think you're really going to find a lot of value in this item. We've actually had this on .com for a few years and it's sold really well, but we're excited yeah. to be able to be the first to present it with you today. This is our Heidi Hood storage. It's kind of like a tent. It's kind of like a shed without all the, you know, the permanentness of a shed. This is movable, it's super lightweight, you can take it where you go, but once you have it, you wanna put it up, it's a wall-mounted system. In my uh, situation, I've got a temporary setup because I'm demoing, of course, to my fence. All you need is the room for it, and I know you've got the stuff to put in it. This is great for anybody who's got, needs to store extra stuff. We're talking bikes, motorcycles, scooters, lawnmowers, gardening equipment, plants, bricks, wood, all that jazz that you have, that you don't have room for, this is a great way to store it outside, right? I'm in Florida, we don't have basements. I'm from Ohio, I had a basement. So here, this is great for stuff that I might store in the basement, I wanna bring out. Or for if you're up north, the snow, this is gonna protect it from the elements. This is made of a lightweight polyurethane material. It's strong and lightweight, but it's gonna protect it. So guy, all you do, let me get to the main demo, is fold it up like this, and I'm gonna hook it up back here, and look at this guy. Look at all of the stuff that I had hidden in my Heidi hood. That's why we call it the Heidi hood. So we're talking, I got a bike. This could fit four to five family size and kid bikes together. That's a lot. You could put a full uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle in here if you wanted to. The, the install is simple. It's five frames, five pieces that go in, they kind of together, they're these poles, okay? They're strong, light, flexible. They're made of fiberglass. They're constructed nicely. You put together in 15, 20 minutes, there's five of them. They go in each rung, then you're set up. 
Yeah, you can temporarily hook it up. I've just got one or two, actually three eyelets back there. Yeah. You can connect all of them. We give you, look at this guy. We give you all the hardware. If you want to mount it, all that stuff comes with it. Yeah. We give you the bag. So you're ready to go, guy. <laughs> uh, to me, uh, it's, uh, you know, and let me tell you, it's one of those things. I thought I've seen everything uh, here at the network. Yeah. When I saw this, I was like, oh, my gosh, this is absolutely brilliant. Um, can I uh, actually, I can pop it down, right, guys? I can take it down, right? I'm going to do it anyway. So. so this is how it works, all right? You just let it go right down. I mean, yeah. are you kidding me? When I was a kid? Come on, you, you remember we were kids? How off? I'd be living in this thing, right? When you're a little kid, you yeah. could be out here and you could have fun, right? I, I could totally get, yeah. I could totally get under there and have a little sleepover. Look at that. But yeah. remember, um, this is the side that's open. And actually, I don't know if you guys can see. Do you guys mind if I spin it around? Is that all right? I want you to kind of see what I'm doing over here. So here it is on the other side, okay? Because this really gives you an idea of how much room. What the? Look. What are you kidding me? Good night, guy. This is awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. Look at this. <laughs> I feel like a frog out here. I mean, look at look at how much space you have inside here. Um, so that gives you an yeah. idea if you've got bicycles or if you've got tools or if you've got toys. Uh, you know, like maybe your kid's got a couple of big wheels and you're like, oh, I'm so sick and tired of those things being in the in the house. You can put those outside. Now it's impervious to weather, all right, because you got that 210 uh, denier Oxford poly uh, fabric, which is going to last you years and years. Uh, doesn't take long. Uh, uh, five star reviews already on this product. People are like, man, this thing is brilliant. Everybody's got a space that they want to be able to hide stuff, right? And uh, to me, I mean, yeah. obviously the most obvious one to me, Bobby, would be your recycle bin and your garbage can, right? Yeah, that's that's a great example. That's sure. a no-brainer. We're showing you there uh, how easy it is to put together. You can even fold it down. And again, this is our Heidi Hood. This is, you know, thanks to the, our friends at Apollo and, uh, of course, Cave Innovations for getting us such a good design. They've got other models. This one is the Heidi Hood 90 because it's 90 degrees. And I've got it kind of half opened or the half open can if you look. So I could use it at this stage to load. And, you know, look at this. I've got sports balls in here. You know, I've got a lawnmower in here. I've got a bike in here. When you want to put it down, you just you just let it go. It's got a five-rung collapsible folding system. It's really great. These are those poles that I was telling you about that go inside. It's just a nice way to, that's why we call it the hidey hood. It's a nice way to hide stuff. So we're not saying this is your, you know, security anti-theft device. I mean, you could, of course, lock yourself up or get a lock, but that's not the point. The point is just to hide it, to make it look a little bit curb appeal, a little bit nicer, to get those things that may not be so easy on the eyes, like garbage cans, recycling, a bunch of bikes in your side yard. Now, this looks a lot nicer. It looks like you had a method to your madness. You were storing some stuff because maybe you're like me in Florida. You don't have a basement. Maybe you don't have a third car garage. Maybe this is your shed, but it's temporary. It's mobile. It's easier. It's cheaper. It's lighter weight, and it's flexible, and it's made of that great design so you can have it up, down, and do with it what you want and store what you want, whether it's for the season. Like, there's a tractor. Can you believe you can fit a full-size tractor yeah. underneath this thing, guy? I mean, it's ridiculous. As far as what you need, you need eight feet length, okay, side to side. You need about eight feet, so you know what you need when you get this home, all right? Eight feet left to right. You need about five and a half feet as far as the height. I'm six foot just to give you a point of reference. You need about five and a half feet to get that top eyelet in. And then it's about five and a half feet towards you as far as the depth. Yeah. With those dimensions, you can see all of the different things that I am able to store or sure. hide in this case. Bobby, you know what I was just thinking too? Because I, I, you know, I'm always thinking full, uh, all season. What about, and yeah. think about this, because I know my dad, uh, when we were kids, he had a, uh, he had a log pile, right? Because we had a wood burning fireplace. <laughs> And he used to make us go out there with bricks and we used to have to cover the log pile with a tarp. It's a pain in the butt because then you had to take all the bricks off. You had to take all, then to pull the tarp back, take the wood, put it in the wood carrier, bring it over. I, mean, I guess he was trying to make us be tough, I don't know. But if you had like a log pile, right? Your, your firewood for winter, you could put that under there and then just take out what you need, right? It's, it, it'll keep the rain and the snow, keep your firewood nice and dry. That's an idea. Maybe you've got uh, outdoor furniture and you're like, where the heck am I gonna put that? I don't wanna take up half the room in the garage during the winter time. You could put it out there. What about um, like your pool equipment, right? You got a filter, 
Where's your pool filter? It's around right the side of the house, right? You can hide that equipment as well. I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. Not only that, it keeps it protected from the elements, Bobby, and that's a big deal, whether it's rain or snow in the wintertime, because I, I never read anything that said you couldn't use this in wintertime. I mean, you know, you go dust off the snow once in a while, but it's that heavy right. grade material, and you'll feel it when you feel it. It's like tent grade material. You don't have to worry about it. You've got it protected minutes to put it together and i think i actually think this is something most everybody probably has something that they could put underneath there yeah this is something that everybody could use and find value in again the design allows the snow and the rain to run off of it so that's really great and again super design super easy to install you can it's this easy guy i mean you literally unhook the top and let it fold down again heidi hood 90 allows you to store anything you want outdoors you want to hide it you want to get it out of sight out of mind people are less likely to be messing around with your stuff you just got a great way to protect from the elements all year long I'd buy it for the kids. Let them go out, hang out, have fun, stay out of the sun. I mean, <laughs> listen, whatever you want it to be, it's actually a great deal. For $59.99 on sale today, fantastic. Thank you, Bobby. By the way, if you want to get this for $19.99, get a brand new HSN credit card. Put $40 in your account. Easy peasy, right? Use it up. It's the most that we do. One time around holiday, we did a $50 thing for, I think it was for one day. But 40 is the is what we normally, uh, it's normally our, our biggest discount. So if you want to use that on any of your purchases here at HSN, you can. All right. I love stuff that's on sale, don't you? Isn't it great? Because for a lot of you, you're like, you know what? I would love the greatest outdoor hat of all time, but you know, I don't want to spend over $20 on the greatest outdoor hat of all time. Well, you're not going to have to because we've got it at $15.95. Uh, this is called our Arctic uh, uh, cooling hat. Technology built in, okay? Reflective technology, uh, wick away technology, uh, 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 cooling technology. If you do anything outdoors, and I'm talking about you play tennis, you play golf, you rake the leaves, you're outside uh, in the pool, you're at the beach, you're on a boat, you want to be protected. We have two styles, and I'm going to show you how it works, but the two styles are either the regular wide brim hat, which are both are unisex, guys or gals, okay? And then we also have the ball cap. What is built into each one of these hats is this reflective layer that, just like, you know, when you put a sunshade up in your car uh, and it has the reflective uh, layer on the outside, this has an outer reflective layer. It's woven in so you don't see it. It's not like you're wearing a mirror on your head, okay? For instance, when you look at the ball cap, this is the ball cap, so when you're wearing it, right, the brim, you come in a little close, the brim has the reflection and the top, okay? But the sides are vented to allow air to escape. Inside, you've got this wick away material, and I'll show you a demonstration about how cool this gets, uh, that utilizes evaporation technology to keep you nice and cool. That's the ball cap. This is the wide brim cap right here. They're both adjustable. They're adorable on. I'll show you my demonstration, which is my uh, hot cold demonstration. Show how cool these things are when you're wearing. It's like you're wearing a refrigerator on your head. $15.95, but let's get Yvette Lopez out here. She's going to take us on a little tour of just how they work. Where is my friend Yvette? Is she out there? Kyle? I'm here. I don't... There she is. Hard I'm to miss here. that beautiful face. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm <laughs> outside. I'm, I'm in my backyard. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for the 90 degree weather today because it's going to happen. I but know. But with this hat and this cap, you know what? It's exactly, Guy, you said it right. It's like a little mini refrigerator on your head. It's crazy the way this technology works. By the way, this has been a customer pick since we introduced it over three years ago. Why? Because this works. So again, Guy told you, there are three different ways this hat has technology that's gonna cool you. And both, they're just different styles. I have the hat on with the large brim. By the way, it has a toggle right here. So if you're out in the wind, fishing, boating, this might be the one for you. Here's the cap, it's a little sporty, but they both do the same thing. First thing you have is that reflective, advanced reflective UV barrier. That's gonna reflect, now listen to this, 99% of the sun's harmful UV rays, boom. Just reflects them immediately away from you. But then, inside, here's where the crazy technology is. This is your evaporative cooling liner. When this gets wet, now it will get wet from you perspiring on your head, or you can actually just get it wet yourself. I just dunked it in the pool and, and shook it out. Once it gets wet 
and here is the great animation to show you. When it gets wet, immediately you have this crazy cooling sensation. But because of the technology, the water evaporates slowly. So you will keep feeling that coolness for hours. And then you just wet it again. So this, it, um, it's something that, again, if you read the reviews, what you see over and over again is this works. This really keeps me so much cooler than outside. And it's across the board. So because it's adjustable, you can put this on your kids when you're concerned about them being overheated. Give it to your grandfather who's 90 years old and simply wants to sit outside and maybe do a little gardening or enjoy. But all, I mean, it's summer now. We want to be outside. We want to be gardening. We want to be relaxing. We want to be, maybe we work outside. If you work outside, all these different things, this hat is going to allow you to be out there longer and be cooler while you're doing whatever activity it is. It may, and you know, it's hard to believe that a hat can actually make you feel cooler outside because we always, we're conditioned to think, oh, if I put a hat on, you know, oh, kids, it's cold out, put your hat on. Now, a, a hat, you know, if you get the right one, can actually help to keep you cool and allow the heat to escape. And one of the things it does is something we call evaporative technology. I've got a hat, all right, I'm gonna put my hat right here, and I've got a thermos full of hot water. And I want you to see, this water is very, very hot. I'm gonna point the camera inside it. Can you see that? Right? I'll do it again. One more time. 150. Okay, it's 150 degrees. So that's very, very hot. I'm going to pour it inside this hat, okay? Just pour this hot water right inside that hat, okay? That's 150 degrees. I'm going to allow that to drain through, okay? Now, that, that you know is 150 degrees right now because we just poured that boiling hot water on there. I'm going to take it and I'm just gonna wick away the moisture. Now, this is the same kind of principle that happens, you know when you get out of a hot tub, right? And you're freezing, right? And your skin, that's if, as, the, as the water evaporates off of our bodies, it lowers your temperature, and that's what makes it cooler. So this was 150 degrees inside. I'm gonna shake it. Now, that's allowing the air to, to expose to it. And now I'm gonna take a shot. What am I at? 69. 69. That was 100, 150 degrees. Okay, I'll do it again. See it? So it has dropped, and you'll see it'll continue to drop. It's going down into the 60s. As you sweat inside of your, your you know, inside your hat, any moisture that's in there is going to evaporate, okay? And as it evaporates, it lowers the temperature. It works the same on the, on the wide brim hat as it does on the other. And if you're out playing golf, take your hat off once in a while, give it a shake, and put it back on. It's all you need to do. This is what professional athletes use. Like guys on the golf course, you know, you'll see a lot of different guys and gals out there, and they're wearing this really cool stuff because they don't want to get get overheated and if you're wearing a normal ball cap that's the worst thing you can do because you're trapping all that air inside this has the vents inside on the on the brim you'll see right here there's actually mesh fabric right there that allows that air to escape i mean to me at this price for 15 dollars a vet it's a steal yes absolutely again like you said there's so much technology you're gonna get a hat anyways because you know you want to shade your face but you have that ventilation you have the liner, you have the UV reflective barrier, and then you know what, guys? It's pretty good looking. I like this I... suit. I don't care how much technology no. it's not cute, you're not gonna wear it. You look totally <laughs> cool in that hat. You totally do. Whether you're wearing that or the ball cap, I love it. $15.95. Yeah. Thanks, Yvette. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day. You too, my dear. <laughs> All right, 080, customer pick on hsn.com, by the way. Uh, hey, did you know that June, uh, we are celebrating all the wonderful beauty brands from around the world with our Destination Beauty Month. Uh, to help us celebrate, we have free shipping and handling on all beauty all month long. You can explore hsn.com. Exclusive finds, we got great brands you won't see on air, plus tutorials, special savings, and more. It's our ultimate beauty destination. It's all beauty all month long, so escape with us daily to exciting locations with fabulous surprises destined to get you gorgeous all right we're going to step away we're halfway through our guy in the garden three hour special be right back with more right after this they say home is where the heart is so when i'm at home i want it to feel warm and welcoming and full of things that make me smile and make life just a little bit easier so join me every tuesday for your weekly look at the latest ways to make your home a haven
Our HSN price is a great value that we bring to you every day. We work hard and have the buying power to make sure it's a value that you'll love. So go ahead, treat yourself with the confidence to buy now at the HSN price. Did you know that we have amazing items and deals you'll never see on air? That's right. You'll only find them at hsn.com. We're talking top brands, exclusive names and bundles, plus thousands of products all the time. Discover all our best deals all in one place, including offers you'll see online only. And with hundreds of videos and customer reviews, we make it easy to shop smart. Click, explore, discover, and get more of what you love. Only at hsn.com. HSN and QVC in celebration of Pride Month. We're shining a light on some of the LGBTQ plus owned businesses that are at the heart and home of our communities. Hear their unique stories of inspiration and innovation. And let us help you discover how to support these exceptional small businesses so they can continue to anchor our communities for years to come. Search Small Business Spotlight at hsn.com to learn more about these featured businesses. Uh, we're getting to the tool section of our show, uh, and I got to tell you, this, this, we launched this, what, about two weeks ago, maybe? It's called the Monster Hub, uh, and I will tell you, this thing is amazing. You want to make your garden work a breeze, uh, and I'm talking about all kinds of different things that you do in the garden, but one of the main things you're going to be doing is you're going to be planting, you're going to be digging. What's wonderful about the Monster Hub is you have this adjustable top right here, right? So I can go from it being a traditional hoe or an edger just by moving it around. I like to get it right to about here. And then I'll tighten it up. See the little saw teeth? So that tightens it up. Now, when I want to get in there and I want to aerate my soil, because you can use this for a variety of different things, all I do without bending over is I just bring it down. There is no better tool to aerate your soil, all right, than one of these. And all you do is pull back. And you can see I can incorporate fertilizer by going back and forth very, very easily. I can adjust that angle. It's great for digging. If I want to get in there and I've got some tough roots, I can go right in and chop that up. And then the nice thing is when I'm ready to turn it into a an edger, I just unscrew the sawtooth valve again, the little, or the sawtooth crank. I crank it all the way up vertical, and now I tighten it up. You can do it into a variety of positions, and now if I want to edge my property, look what I can do. I can go right snug right up against the edge, and I can remove or release soil. I can, if, if I need to edge away, I can pull it in this direction. I know it's tough for you guys to see that. We'll get the overhead shot in a minute. But I'm actually able to move things away. I can cut through debris, all right, pull it aside. And you see how easily it works? That's because this is like a blade right on the end there, okay? Easy to adjust. Is that really 20 bucks off today? See, I have the monster shovel, but I haven't bought the Monster Ho. I think I'm gonna buy the Monster Ho today. 20 bucks off, uh, 780637. Uh, and Lorna's standing by. I tell you, Lorna's in our show a lot today. Lorna, this thing is awesome. And by the way, it's super tough and durable too. Super tough, super durable, super lightweight. Welcome back to my garden here in London. Thanks again for having me. This is made of alloy and tempered steel. It's a 60.5 inch sharp, so I've got a massive reach, but it's super lightweight, just two and three quarter pounds, but super strong. And as you mentioned, you've got that special function. You've got no tools needed with this, by the way. One side is that super sharp blade, great for edging, great for cutting through things and just getting general digging and tough stuff. You just chain, turn the wheel here, and say, as you saw just in the studio, undo the claw, and then you can see, you can angle it, or you can just turn it into a rake. So it's two tools in one. We call it the UK's best kept secret over here. The Green Base team, they come up with all kinds of really clever gardening tools. So I'm just gonna get busy working now. So maybe you've got brambles or prickles in the garden or leaves. You can use that rake side to pick them up and move them. Maybe you've got fruit in the autumn. You're picking them up from the orchard. I'm not bending over, I'm using that 60.5 inches. But this is how strong it is, Guy. I've got a cinder block here. <laughs> I can pick Love up it. the cinder block with this. And once you've got an easy garden tool, Guy, it makes gardening fun and enjoyable. 
Yeah, I, you know what I really, I love the uh, extra long handle because a lot of the jobs that the, uh, that the Monster Ho does are jobs that you normally would have to be down on your hands and knees for. Uh, and I'm talking about weeding, I'm talking about uh, using it as a trowel, using it as a shovel. It really wears a lot of different hats. And if you're wondering, as again, we're talking about how, how, uh, how tough this thing is. I mean, it, let me just tell you, and we'll get the overhead shot. This thing, and I don't have to use a lot of pressure. That thing is, it's incredibly, I mean, it'll go, it goes pretty much through anything, uh, and it's able to get through rocks, debris. I mean, it really is made as an industrial gardening tool. So if I had, you know, if I have like garden stones, but I want to plant, I can get right in there. I can plant. I can edge at the same time. I can chop through. You know what? I, I use it. I think more than anything else I, I, that I, I would use it for, Lorna, is cutting through like tough soil because in the front of my yeah. house in the front of my house i have uh there, there there's uh shrubs and trees and a lot of their roots go under the area where my flowers are and trying yeah. to dig with a hand shovel is Ugh. so hard to get through all those roots and i mean they're they're a quarter inch thick half yeah. inch thick yeah with this all i got to do is get in there you know basically in a square pattern and just start chopping down and that's going to yeah. take care of everything i need i mean it really is it's got it's so versatile it's a multi-purpose tool. We just saw it there being used to aerate the lawn. What does that mean? You make little holes in your lawn. When you water it, it retains the moisture better so you have a greener lawn. Use it for digging, use it for furrowing, tilling, cultivating, aerating, weeding. Use it for planting and transplanting. You don't have to take out a shovel, a, a fork, a trowel, a whole load of other tools. This is also a rake, don't forget, so you can use it in the fall to get those leaves. Look how strong it is. And I've just got a few tools here to show you. Instead of struggling out into the garden with all of these, imagine how much simpler your life will be if you just have to take out your monster hoe. And it even gets into small spaces. So even small hand tools like these ones here, just take the monster hoe, 60.5 inch shaft. I'm not having to bend over. Alloy and steel, super strong. And if you use it, to edge or to cut through turf, you can do that without getting on your hands and knees. So you can see here, I'm cutting through a bit of turf. But Guy, I just saw you show the strength test. I've also got a very uh, heavy ceramic tile here in London. I just want to show you this. I mean, this is how strong this tool is. <laughs> Literally will break through anything. Imagine that's the roots in your garden. Imagine that's compacted clay soil. Imagine yeah. that's pebbles and gravel. You want to dig through. Remember, two tools in one. You've got the blade side, you've got the rake side. All you do is undo the wheel and turn it to the angle you want. For me, this is such good value for money because it's replacing so many other tools. Yeah, and, and even if it's just going to help you when you're out there planting. You know, I've got a couple of plants yeah. out here. And, you know, if you've got, you got to get, if you have to get through a grassy layer or if you have to get through a weed layer or if you have to get through a root layer, right? Or, you know, here's a perfect example. Yeah. You can clear away uh, the pavers. I, I didn't even realize there were stones under there, but you can move all that stuff away. You can use it to weed as well, all right? Uh, you can use it uh, as a, uh, you know, as a, even like a pickaxe if you're trying to, you know, maybe start a garden. You can use it for that just by manipulating the top of it. Right here, if I, like, I've got all this debris on top, so I can basically move everything out of the way. I've got it set up so it's more in the edger thing, and then I can go basically in a square, chop through all those roots, right? So, you know, make sure, put them aside. And now, you know, I've, I've got my whole foundation right here to plant, and I can take one of my, my little plants here, poke it through, there we go. And I mean, that's literally how easy it is to plant if I want to put some more of that around, right? And then if I wanted to, you know, flatten it out, I could flatten it out and tamp that down. But that's how easy it is to plant when you have a, a, the easy tool. Otherwise, you're sitting there with a little hand trowel and you're trying to cut through stuff you're never going to get through. Lorna, this just makes it easy. That's what I love about this. Easy gardening, not taking out several tools, lugging them around the garden. This is how easy it is. So I've just picked up a weed there. Imagine that was a bramble or a prickle or a nettle. I'm not touching it with my hands because I've got 60.5 inches of reach. I've got an alloy handle. I've got a tempered steel head with those two different functions. And yet it weighs two and three quarter pounds only. But it is super strong. We just both broke big heavy tiles there to show you. And just one more time. I mean, that's a cinder block. This is how tough this 
tool is. Uh, I love it. Yeah, you, I, I, have, I get such a kick out of watching you in your little garden back there. That is so much fun. <laughs> All right, Lorna, you get ready. We got Durasac coming up in a bit, so go get ready for that. And I want to remind you, coming up, do you realize already five dozen people have picked up my trimmer? Where is it? Is it over there? I don't need... Do you want me to go promote it again or not? I would love to. All right, so follow me over here. So this is my pick of the hour. It's our, uh, it's our Sun Joe, and I own it. Two-in-one uh, pruner. So remember before I told you that, the, that it came with an extension pole? Well, that's brilliant because a lot of times you need to get stuff that's way up over your head and you don't want to have to use a saw. This cuts right through it using a battery pack that you can switch to the handheld. So if you are harvesting coconuts, you know, up close, you can do it that way, but you can do it if they're six to 10 feet above your head as well. Uh, this time I brought out bamboo. I want to cut the bamboo for you and I've got the handheld version. I did a regular stick before, uh, but people are sitting there and they're like, well, bamboo's easy. No, bamboo is really hard because bamboo is one of the hardest woods out there. That's why they make flooring out of it. Uh, it is hollow, but the wood itself is so hard, you could never get a regular pair of, of cutters through it. Watch this. This is bamboo. All right, that is bamboo. I am telling you, unbelievable. And by the way, you get up to 50 cuts on a charge. 50 cuts. You got to get one of these, okay? It's on sale from 160 to 99 uh, you get an HSN credit card, it's $59.95 if you use the 40 bucks that comes with it. I own it. I love that tool. I just wanted to promo it really quick. All right, come on over. I'm going to read to you a little bit. It's not like a bedtime story or anything, but uh, this is, uh, these are reviews uh, that people that took the time to talk about Durasac. First of all, I own three sets, okay? I use one uh, for firewood outside. I use another one for lawn clippings, all right? Uh, I, got, I gave two, one for Danny, one for Lily, his girlfriend. They use them as their hampers up at school. I've got one out in my shed full of tools, and I have another one. I don't even know where the other one is, but I've, I bought three sets of them. I paid the full price. Today, you are getting them on sale, lowest price, $24.95. So here's Fur Baby Lover in Kentucky. I use these in my home for a wide variety of uses. They are very well made. They are worth every penny. Highly recommend them. Uh, Kim from California. I'm 60 years old and I can fill this bag and still tote it around my yard. I love this product because it has all the handles. Uh, Odie in Georgia. We moved and they were perfect. They held a lot and are so strong. I wish I had more. They fold up for storage. They have handles all around the top, on the sides, on the bottom. They stand up on their own because they have a built-in wire frame. That's important important because anybody that rakes grass into an old school garbage bag and you got to keep lifting the bag up, these actually stay open in a square when you lay them on the side so you can rake your leaves and debris inside. I've got, we've got firewood in this one, absolutely loaded. You can drag them. You're never, oh, lost some wood there. You're never going to hurt yourself unless you drop wood on your foot, which I didn't do. Uh, you can put big bags of stuff inside. So if you've got potting soil or mulch. You can put that in there as well. They're super duper heavy. Everybody that orders is going to get two of these at the lowest price we've, we've done at $24.95. Huge customer pick. Uh, Kyle, do I have colors? Gray, green, and blue. Everybody orders gets two. They hold up to a thousand pounds in each bag. Lorna, go, go, go. 95 five-star reviews on these and there's a reason they come flat packed like this they only weigh a couple of pounds but then when you open them up this is where the magic begins they are woven polypropylene you get two and the two pack is only on hsm by the way the capacity inside is up to a thousand pounds in weight or 48 gallons now as well as woven polypropylene which is virtually indestructible tear proof rip proof moisture resistant there's six handles double stitched in got two longer two short here very clever, there's actually two on the sides. There's competitors out there half the size and they put their handles underneath where you can't get them. They've put them on the side. Now you mentioned very importantly, they stand up by themselves thanks to that wire frame. So if you're used to those trash bags, which are expensive, they blow away in the wind in the garden. And then if you get anything sharp, they rip or in the home, they're just, the weight capacity is next to nothing. If you've got these bags, indoor or outdoor, guys, it's like two extra closets in your house in terms of storage. And I'm going to start packing a garden version just to show you the kind of capacity that these are going to take. So I've got four big bags of straw here. So I'm going to fill it up. I've put some leaves and storm debris. You mentioned your grass clippings, mulch. 
This is just one bag and you're getting two. And guy, there's a reason oh, that there is 95 five-star reviews on these. Yeah, I, you know what, I, I, I always laugh when I, when I look at it because I'm like, they're big, heavy-duty bags. But people love them. You know why they love them? Yeah. Anybody out there that has bought yard bags from the supermarket knows. Now, don't get me wrong. The yard bag is thicker than the regular garbage bag, but I've still sticks go through it. You can't put a thousand pounds in a yard bag. You can't do that. No. Not only that, you buy a big box of those. Maybe you get 20 in a box and you're spending like $15, $20 on disposable bags. Yeah. And you still have to hold them up when you're raking into them. I think it's really <laughs> important that everybody understands they have a wire framework and then they have a mesh almost like a fiberglass mesh that is coated inside yeah. uh, they're all double stitched all the way around these things god's honest truth they'll probably last you i'm talking 10 years okay Pro maybe yeah. longer yeah. i mean yeah, yeah now granted yeah if i took a, 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 a knife or a hacksaw and i went through it but i'm <laughs> what you're going to put in here is things like wood you're going to put things like sticks branches uh you know cuttings yeah. uh things that can poke through those other bags nothing will poke through this because it has that fiberglass mesh they're virtually indestructible yeah. uh, lorna they're unbelievable everybody that orders Absolutely. will get two for $24.95, yeah. read the reviews. I think the last time I checked, yeah. almost every review is five star, Lorna. Yeah, absolutely. And if you think indoors as well, holiday decorations, these come into their own. You're only getting the two pack at HSN, Recycle. so the value yeah. is phenomenal. Recycling, and I've been outside in the garden. By the way, I believe the brick red is sold out. Yes. So you've got the blue, the green, or the gray. Now I'm just gonna show you, standing up by themselves. Imagine bedding for your guests. I've got two pillows. I've got two big blankets here. Look at this. And then I've got, it's still going, another two pillows. So I know your, your son Danny uses his as a laundry hamper, but imagine this for bedding. And then when you go camping or on holiday, and then you get those lovely sleeping bags, you're like, oh, they're so neat and compact. Then when you finish camping, trying to get them back in those bags is impossible. This is my son, he's 12, he loves camping, but this is his sleeping bag. I can just put it in the Durasac. I'm still going. I've got a snow sled here. I've got sports equipment. As I say, in the house, imagine getting two instant closets. They stand up by themselves. The storage is just phenomenal. I mean, I, I can keep on packing this guy. Oh my I've got gosh. Toys. I've Look at got it. beach equipment. Hey, That's Lorna. The power of the just, Duracell. Like just in the corner of your garage, right? Put one in the corner of your yeah. garage and put all your crud in there. Okay? How Absolutely. about for your kids? Maybe your kids don't pick up after themselves. Hey, everything goes in the bag, you little punks. Put everything oh. in there. <laughs> what about well, like even uh, recyclables, as we said before, you know, plastics, yeah. things you could put those out on the curb. Uh, you know, just talk to your recycle guy. Be like, hey, don't steal the bag. Yeah. And he'll be like, no, this thing is great. It's easy for me to handle. It's got <laughs> handles all over it. But you can store stuff. <laughs> that's dirty in there, stuff that's clean oh, yeah. in there. If you've got stuff that you keep in the attic or you keep in the basement and you want to keep it up off the floor, you can do that as well. Yeah. My favorite thing is I finally found a bag that lays on its side and doesn't squish down. So if I'm raking leaves in there, especially from my banyan tree, I'm not sitting there. Like, see how it sits up? See what I'm saying? Look, and then you can fold it down. Although mine, I don't think I've ever taken mine down. I got one out in the shed and it's got more stuff in there. I don't even know half the things. If you just want to clear out a space, use it as a big portable garbage bag. Dump it into the dumpster and reuse it. Remember, you're going to use this over and over. It's probably going to outlive you. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing, Lorna. <laughs> It is, we call it the do everything bag, because whether you're outdoors with all the yard work, all the garden clean up, storm clean up, clean up, whether you're indoors, you're using it as two extra closets. These have up to a thousand pounds weight. You can see how much I've put in there. 48 gallons capacity, woven polypropylene, but it's also moisture resistant. Just wipe it down or I get my hose and I just clean it out if I've been using it for dirty work. But they fold up this small and compact they weigh a couple of pounds so just get two for an emergency in a drawer because maybe you have a kid in college who's moving dorm put their whole bedding in here and then just drag it away it's, it couldn't be any easier i mean I, I honestly for me to buy three sets you got to know these things are worth it and i and by the way i didn't get the discount so you're going to get that today uh, item number is seven seven eight one two five you're on the fence please read the reviews lorna you're coming back with the most amazing garden hose deal of the year We'll see you in a little bit. I am indeed. I'll see you in a bit, guys. <laughs> All right, Lorna. Thanks so much. All right, what's the time for? Come on, every.
It's my pick, it's my pick, it's our pick together. And by the way, I, I don't have my tablet today. I apologize, but all you Facebook ladies, you know what I'm talking about. I love you guys, you guys are the best. I got a couple buddies out there as well. Uh, nice to see all you guys. So um, I bought this the day after I aired it. I think it was last year. Uh, it's our Sunjo, uh, uh, what we call our two-in-one long reach pruner. Um, I bought it because I, I was like, man, I'm gonna use this all over my house. I've got branches in the front of the house that, that block my picture window. I've got, um, oh, I've got um, palm trees in the back, little uh, mini, um, I forgot which, what's, what uh, style they are, but they've got those little two inch thorns on them. You know those the little palms, they're terrible. And you, it's hard to cut them, right? And they're really, uh, they're fibrous. They're really hard to get. You can't get them with regular clippers. I bought this. This thing goes through anything like butter. It's called the Sunjo two-in-one. So I, I didn't show it to you as a, as a long reach, but this is how it works in handheld, all right? It's got two safety buttons, because let me tell you, this is not a toy. Do not leave this around. Take the battery off when you're not using it. Don't leave it around. This is a heavy gauge tool, okay? And when you squeeze that trigger, you hear the power, right? I can go up to 40 cuts before I have to recharge that battery. What will it go through? What well, won't, won't it go through? It goes through trees, it, go, I mean, it goes through sticks, branches. I mean, this is heavy, this is solid wood right here. And I'm getting to the thick part. You can see it goes right through, no problem up to 40 cuts. Now, what I can do with this, if I have something that's over my head, I pop off the battery, I put the battery on the bottom, right? I take the top, and I take the top of this and put it on, on the top of the extender pole, and now I have the ability, and it extends really, really far, to go way up over my head and do that same trimming by squeezing the trigger down below. So the choppers will be up top and the trigger is down below. I have my choice to use it with this or without it. To be honest, I use it way more as a handheld trimmer So um, because I just think it's more convenient. It's lightweight, it is super duper powerful. This is the lowest price I've ever aired it for, and I will go out a limb here, no pun intended, uh, to say that it's probably the lowest price we've ever done it before. It will articulate into any direction. So if you've got to get around a corner, or if you're harvesting coconuts, I love that because it's such a Florida thing. Uh, but you'll be, you know, you'll be cutting and trimming all your trees and branches. You will absolutely love it. I'm going to hold off on my bamboo demo because I think that's even more cool. But let me show you the, the unit itself, just real quick, uh, just like um, all all the super cool Sunjo products, the batteries are interchangeable, so if you already have a Sunjo product, you can use the battery. It charges, you plug it in, comes with a charging cable. That's the battery, you push that. I love how nice and bright that is. That tells me, and I've just, I've just been using this thing uh, most of the morning, and I'm not even down one bar yet, so that tells you when you need to recharge it. Uh, let me get my special guest, and by the way, uh, Sunjo stands behind their products year after year after year. Here's Bobby Milliken, tell us all about it. Hey bud, welcome back. Hey guys, thank you. So yeah, we're familiar with this product. It's done so well this season because this is such a great handy tool to have in your arsenal. It's lightweight, first of all. It weighs less than five pounds with the battery on it so anyone can use it. It looks intimidating and to Guy's point, it is not a toy, it is a tool. But once you get it home, you realize how easy it is to use with the squeeze of a trigger. It's got a safety button like I had mentioned. So when you're not using this, obviously take the battery out just as a safety measure, but you can't just squeeze a trigger and this won't work. You have to engage the other buttons and then you get the nice cutting action. So there's all kinds of reasons of, you know, why do we even prune in the first place? First of all, to shape up the bushes and the shrubs, to control and maintain a certain size. Maybe you want to remove dead and diseased branches to improve the structure, or maybe you want to stimulate new growth. This is the right tool for all of those jobs and you can see with the touch of a button i quickly clearly consistently and easily get through this piece of wood this timber this this twig this log whatever you're cutting through basically the rule of thumb is this if it fits in between the blades it will cut up to a one inch in diameter i want to ask you how have you normally been cutting or using a you've been using these pruner shears and guy you've heard me talk about all season my uh, tendonitis in my elbow i can't even get through these things i mean it locks up right there yeah. with these normal shears it's just not worth it but because of your son joe you've got an 80 watt motor here guy that's powerful okay this makes over 500 cuts in one charge so if you've got a lot of work to do guess what bring your two-in-one handheld reef pruner and it can do the job for you can i show it in, in the pole guy or you want me to throw it back to you 
Uh, why don't you get it set up on the pole and we'll come back to me real quick because I, I, I was totally mistaken. I said 40 cuts. That's, that's the other thing I was uh, airing earlier. Uh, I was 40 minutes on our on our blower. This, this, you get a ton of cuts. I mean, I, it's funny, Bobby. I've used mine. I probably charge mine once a month, right? And I'm out, I use my long yeah. reach uh, pruner probably once or twice a week. And I, I rarely ever have to charge it because the Sunjo batteries are so great. I want to show everybody yeah. the bamboo because the bamboo demo is it just, it was the clincher for me. You know, people look at the bamboo and they're like, well, that's got to be easy to cut. It's like a straw. Bamboo is one of the hardest woods out there, which is why they make cutting boards out of it, which is why they make flooring, uh, all right? I've, I've had uh, in my uh, the condo that I had uh, several condos or houses back, I had bamboo floors put in because everyone was like, oh, you gotta get bamboo. It's the best scratch resistant, all stuff. It's such a hard wood. This goes through this stuff like nothing. I mean, like I'm cutting through, you can hear it crunch it, right? I mean, look at that. That is unbelievable how quickly and easily it goes through that. And by the way, I'm not putting a lot of pressure on. All I do is squeeze and let it, and release it. All you need to do, all right? As I said before, uh, this is not for the kids. This is for you. It's a very, very serious tool. But it's, I mean, you know, listen, we sell handheld chainsaws. In fact, I got a handheld chainsaw coming up at the end of, of the next hour. Oh, wait till you see that for the larger uh, jobs. These are serious tools that are gonna make your life a lot easier. Um, if you didn't get anything for dad for Father's Day, well, I'll tell you, this is something that would be a winner for dad for sure. We're dropping the price from 164 to 99.95. If that is too much for you, and I know we're real busy right now, people are like, I gotta get this thing at this price. How about get a brand new HSN credit card? <clears throat> when you do, we will take another $40 off, meaning you're gonna get this thing for 59 bucks. You know what? My, my, with my uh, corporate employee discount, I didn't get it close to $59, okay? You're gonna get a great, great deal on this. Get it home. I'm gonna give it back to Bobby because I think as impressive, uh, impressive as it is, using it as a handheld, Bobby, it's twice as impressive when you get to use the pole. Yep, and before I use it on the pole configuration, I just wanna make sure everyone understands you don't have to give any pressure. There's no squeezing or no. tugging or pulling. So for our senior friends, or those of us like myself who've got some arm and tendon problems, you just pull the trigger. There's no squeezing. So to Guy's point, you've got this pole now. This is what makes it a great buy because now you have two tools for the price of one. You can use it in the handheld, or like Guy said, you pop the tool on the top, you pop the battery on the bottom. We give you the pole, we give you the battery, we give you the charger. You've got everything you need. Now you've got four feet of reach. So if it's something high above you, you can just do this and easily cut that down. You want some more room? Guess what? This extends almost another two feet, guy. So if I want to go back here, I've got my crate myrtle tree. If I want to get something even higher up, I can use it just like that and cut that piece down there. Here's what I want you to notice about it. Safety, safety, safety. I'm not up on a ladder. You know, I'm a dad. I wouldn't want my dad or my grandfather, no, nobody that I care about, which is pretty much everybody, on the ladder with a tool like this above their head. So the point is, when Sunjo comes along and finds a problem, hey, we find a solution. We're going to give you a reach pruner. We're going to put it on a pole, give you two extra feet. Now you can have both feet safely planted on the ground. You don't have to hire a professional because we've given you the tools to become a, pro a professional yourself. Now you can do it yourself, guy. And I love, uh, first of all, let me, uh, congrats to Sunjo. Uh, you know, we, we, we first started doing the garden show. Sunjo was, uh, wasn't with us. And when we brought them in, uh, you know, it, it opened up a whole different world of, of, of tools for the homeowner. Tools that normally a homeowner would only see a professional have, but scaled down enough so that they're easier to handle, still have the power, they still have the performance, that, but they're not going to be, like, for example, you know, like my next hour, I have a chainsaw. Not, you know, a regular chainsaw is going to cost you 300 bucks for a decent, you know, McCullough chainsaw. But you don't need it, right? You're not cutting down giant trees every day. It's just like with this. I don't need a, a, a you know a landscaper priced trimmer, you know, a gas powered. I don't need that. Neither do you. We want something I can grab off the shelf, go outside, do a job in five minutes, put it back on the shelf, and go back and have my second cup of coffee. What's so wonderful about the Sunjo items is that's exactly how they're created. That's a great shot showing how you can get things long distance, right? Maybe you've got a tree limb or branch that's been hanging over your driveway, and you're like, am I really going to hire a guy to come out? Because they won't come out for less than 150 bucks, right? Tree trimmer. Ah, they'll be like, what are you kidding me? I'm not coming out for 50 50 bucks, that's gas money, and it's crazy. But if you need to do something yourself, it's so satisfying. Listen, I know prices have gone up. Look what we're doing.
here at HSN. Prices are going down. It's, it's, we understand. Hey, garden season is well on its way, but trimming season? That's just beginning, right? I mean, you got fall, you got obviously spring cleanup from winter is, is a little bit behind us. But what about when fall cleanup comes, right? And the leaves are off the trees. And now you're like, oh my gosh, I got these branches all over my driveway. They're going to get, you know, you know, ice storm are going to get covered with ice and land on my car and scratch my car. You can take care of all that stuff yourself. And not for three or $400 for $99.95 if you want to pick it up. That's why I love, as much as I love my garden shows in the beginning of the year because I get to see y'all uh, for the first time, uh, I love when we get to our sales shows because it's basically we're saying hey all right a lot of you planned ahead you got the, you got the you know you got the early stuff a lot of stuff that sold out but a lot of you that waited are now going to get these great prices and you're going to get basically similar same items so if you want to make your job more enjoyable because let me tell you what i learned when i was a kid I couldn't stand anything to do with gardening, all right? Not, and not because my father was an amazing guy, okay? I spent most of my day yesterday thinking about him uh, with my son, Danny. Um, but he was the kind of guy, right, that he did everything the old way, you know, the old school way. Everything had to be done by hand. I mean, I get it. That's where he came from. But as a kid, ugh, I couldn't stand it. If we wanted to trim a branch, we had to climb on a ladder with a handsaw and go up there and cut it, you know? Or, or, or my dad would get on a ladder. The nice thing about this is no ladders, no handsaws. All you do is attach the pole if it's a job way up and just give it a pole, a gentle pull. All right, and it'll cut whatever you need to cut. I mean, it, as long as it can fit inside there, I say about up to one inch cuts, half inch to one inch cuts, okay? If you have something bigger than that, I got the handheld chainsaw coming up. It's my pick of the next hour. That is coming up, so stay tuned for that. That's if you have a bigger job. But for me, Bobby, every day, quick trim, easy, no ladders, uh, 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 what'd you say? How many cuts on a charge? Yeah, 500, 500. cuts in one charge. Wow. You're gonna have about 20 minutes of continuous runtime. And this thing is well built, it's well balanced, it's lightweight and only five pounds. And these blades, take a look at these, they're corrosion free. So they're, they're not gonna corrode, they're not gonna rust. If you take a look at them because they're stainless steel blades, you see that cut? You notice how the blade's going a little bit past the bottom one? That is a bypass cut. So what that means is it, it's going to go all the way through so that you can have a nice, clean, consistent cut each and every time. Even that thicker stuff, look at it go through that. And not to mention, you get a great warranty on this, not to mention the battery. You're going to hear me talk a lot about these Sunjo batteries, 24-volt lithium-ion. These fit and work with over 100 of our other tools in our lineup with Snowjo, Sunjo. So all of our tools, these are interchangeable, swappable batteries. This is the, the two amp milliamp battery, so nice strength. A lot of cuts, bypass pruner. Again, the value in this, if it was just this, it'd be worth it all day. But the fact that you get this and the pole to get that high reach up over your head. And also, I didn't tell you about this guy. I forgot to tell you, the articulating head. Yeah. This is going to go to seven different positions. Why is that important? Because if you don't want to have to bend your body, let the tool do the bending. So now you can get to those hard to reach places because it articulates seven different ways. Yeah, and I love the fact that Sunjo stands behind the products. Go to our website, go to hsn.com. And when you're reading through the description, check out how they stand behind their products, okay? All right, they are, they are amazing. The support that they give you, all right? You, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about when you check it out on hsn.com. Lots of great information there for you. I know our clock says we're about a time. We're gonna go a little bit longer. I'll show you again, bamboo, one of the toughest things to cut uh, with any blade. Try getting, try you, you, uh, bamboo normally gotta use a hacksaw to cut. It goes right through it like nothing. Cut after cut after cut. I love how it's just, I mean, look at that, because you know, because it's hollow in the center. Even right up near where the, you know, where the cutoff part is, look, look, at, look at that cut, all right? And perfectly clean. That's what it does. Every time you squeeze that trigger, you get a cut. Up to, up to 500 cuts before you have to recharge it. I've been using this all day. Let's see how much battery power I've used. You ready? Here we go. Nothing. That's when I, that, that, that tells you how well it's made. I'm not going through battery power. I am using it. $99.95 is our price. Uh, it is on 4Flex. Kyle, let's put up our HSN credit card offer one more time. If you want to get this $40 cheaper today, we are doing a $40 deposit into your account that you can use on any 
any single item purchase. So if you grab this today, you won't pay 99 if you use it. Uh, the card, you will pay $59. That's a better price than I got. Uh, grab it while you can. Uh, spring cleanup, cordless rechargeable, no nothing, no wires, no nothing. Uh, and mostly five-star reviews on hsn.com. I love it. I own it. I think it's brilliant. Bobby, amazing job. Once again, good to see you, my friend. Thanks so much, guy. Everyone enjoy your reach burner. Thanks, buddy. It's a great product. I absolutely love it. All right, coming up. Where is it? Where is it? Can I go over there? Uh, I don't have a demo, but I can show you. Come on over. I'm going to grab my water. I'll take a little sip. Come on over with one more hour of guys in the garden. We're getting there, right? Hmm. I'll put my water over here. Welcome back. Hi, Facebook friends. I'm glad you're with me. Uh, check us out on hsn.com. Um, we have our final gardening show, believe it or not, next Friday. The last gardening show. Don't be sad. I'll be doing other things. They're not kicking me out of here. So we'll have other great stuff. So um, I was just mentioning on that two-in-one pruner, there are some jobs that might be too big for the pruner. So let me tell you, I bought my handheld chainsaw about, I don't know, maybe a month ago easily top three things I've ever bought. I, I think this is absolutely the coolest thing. If you, it's too bad you snoozed on Father's Day. What we have here is we have, a, I'll try to hold it this way for you. We have a chainsaw that will go through anything that size. So if you've got limbs five, six inches, all you do is hit the safety switch, you cut right through. It's called the hatchet. As it goes through, it's got a cover on the top that protects your hands, keeps you safe. This thing is unbelievable.